And he's talking. You hear this stuff. When he bombed Syria, I'm on the plane. I'm on the plane flying to England when he bombed Syria. And the, first of all, I don't watch CNN a lot except to kind of pay attention to how bad they are. But CNN was all they had of American news stations that you could get live on the plane. I turned on. That, that station, forget about the bias. That is the stupidest collection of human beings, with the exception of Jake Tapper. If you put Chris Cuomo and Don Lemon, is that his name? And the blonde girl who works with Chris Cuomo, if you put their IQs together, you would get like one person. I mean, they are so dumb. And the analysis they do is so ill-informed and so simplistic and so... But I had to say, my, my entire feeling about this was, yeah, tr of course Trump bombed Syria. I mean, this is what happens when a new president comes to town. They test him, right? The, the bad guys, the Russians, Vladimir Putin, who is just a thug and a murderer, and a, he's going to test him. He's going to say, is he a paper tiger? Is he a guy like Obama who never, you know, when, when he sets a red line, it suddenly vanishes. You know, it doesn't matter. Is he a weakling like Obama was? Trump responded doing the exact right thing. It was like, show him you're nuts. Show him you're crazy. I'll bomb anybody. I'm nuts. I'm Trump. I just, you, you, I, you gassed those children. My daughter didn't like it. You're dead. You know, that's the, that's the tone you want to set. Because now Putin is thinking, uh, maybe this is not such a good idea. You know, I think maybe I will not do this next time because he doesn't know what Trump is going to do. And then he dropped the bomb in Afghanistan, which I also thought was the right thing to do. And Trump's followers, you know, I mean, conservatives are like this anyway. They, conservatives judge you on every single thing you do. You know, it's not, they don't take the kind of shape of the administration and say, how's it going? And, and, and Trump was a non-interventionist, right? He told Obama, don't go into Syria. He said, you know, he tweeted to Obama, you know, stay out of Syria. What is America first, America first. And, and you couldn't blame them. I mean, like you, you were, I was listening to Ann Coulter. We, we, have, we have Ann Coulter. Yeah, play Ann Coulter. This is her reaction. She's like appalled that Trump is doing this stuff. I like what Trump said during the campaign, which is um, it would be insane to go in and, and come out against Assad. He's the one fighting ISIS and Al Qaeda. We always go into th these things. We get nothing out of it. We spend trillions of dollars. Americans die. Uh, most of the rest of the world are savages, and we're always coming in at one point in the bar fight and propping up the loser at that one particular moment. The whole point of the Trump campaign was America first, put America first, make America great again. And what I really think you and I should be talking about right now, Lou, is, um, you know, the fact that anchor babies aren't citizens and they should be deported, too. And isn't that great that Trump is is not printing work p permits for the dreamers anymore? Oh, except he is. Um, but we don't want to hear about the payloads and the topography of Syria. Get these generals out of the picture. <laughs> I have to say, she just gets better looking. Like, how does she do that? She's just more and more attractive. I can't disagree with her because she's so good looking. But I do disagree with her because I think this was, this was what we had with the Obama administration. We already know what it looks like when we have an isolationist policy, when we don't go into places, when we don't police the world, the world goes up in smoke, which is a good reason.